Paul Pogba this, Paul Pogba that. I'm not even a Juventus fan. I'm literally ready to just get past this guy, man. In real life, in career mode, in everything. He's gone, it's over, he's done. He moved on to Manchester United. Kudos for that, whatever. I'm pretty sure Juventus fans are looking at this like, yo, skills, just get rid of him. People in the comments want us to just get rid of Paul Pogba and to move past this guy. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna offer him on pretty much loads of superstar players. If we don't get one that really makes sense to us, then we're just gonna let him stay at the club until the winner transfer and make loads of money. But unless the deal is right, we are not letting him go. But there is a 99.9% .9 chance we are losing our superstar player, Pugba. And that's okay. We're okay with that. We're confident that we're going to put a great team together. And we've made some great moves. One of them being at the end of the last episode, we got Renato Sanchez on a loan deal. Renato Sanchez on loan for Befica for one year is amazing. Kadir and James Rodriguez are in our midfield. And a lot of people are telling me, don't let Marquisio go. He's, he's just like a staple for Juventus. He's a monster. He's a beast. And I do think he is a monster. But one deal I did think about just maybe throwing out there is Marquisio for Ribéry, Frank Ribéry. But before I start making deals that I want to do, we're going to look at a lot of deals that you guys want me to do. Real quick, Booya Nation, I just want to say something really quick. For the first time ever on this channel, I'm actually proper confused. The support has been unreal on this career mode and on the, on the Chelsea career mode. I literally had to put a vote on Twitter to see which one you guys wanted to see today. Both career modes are getting like 30,000 likes a video. So let me know in the comments down below and also by hitting the thumbs up button. If you are a fan of the Juventus career mode, smash a thumbs up right now. I'm trying to see which one is actually more liked by you guys. So hit a big old thumbs up if you're a fan of the Juventus career mode. And when the Chelsea career mode comes out probably tomorrow, smash a thumbs up on that one if you're a fan of the Chelsea one. I want to see which one is more liked. So the first one that's going to pop up on your screen right now is this one right here and it comes in from my boy Jay and it says Pugba for Di Maria. Super Cup against Lazio first game of the season but before we do that man we got a lot of transfer moves we must get into so as I said my boy Jay wants us to try Pugba on Di Maria and I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys I would love for this move to happen although I'm pretty sure Di Maria has just moved he has he just arrived there so there's no way this deal is gonna go through we definitely something we could do in the winter winter time but I would have loved to giving up Paul Pugba for the boy Di Maria. This to me absolutely 100% makes sense. We lose a superstar, we bring a superstar. That's a deal I would have loved to do. So big ups to Jay for putting that down below. Up next is another one from KSI. Now not the real KSI, it's a fake KSI, but big ups to KSI. And it says Marquisio for Conadreva at right wing or Marquisio plus 13 for Contingo who plays for uh, Liverpool as you guys know the Brazilian man himself. I want to make sure I'm spelling it properly so people don't make fun of me down below. You guys know my spelling is terrible. Felipe or Felipe Contingo, I should say, uh, the Brazilian Liverpool man, and you said Marquisio plus 13 million. A lot of people don't want us to lose Marquisio. Well, some people don't want us to lose Marquisio. A lot of people did want us to lose Marquisio. So 13, uh, yo, Marquisio plus 13? Let's try Marquisio plus... Eight. Let's see if they bite on Marquisio plus eight. And if they don't, then we'll offer exactly what you said there. But for now, let's try this deal. As we proceed to move forward, skills trade Pugba for Royce. And that comes in from my man PX. Now, PX wants Royce. Royce is somebody that we've used a few times in the career mode. Honestly, if it goes through, that would be nice. But honestly, I don't really want to pick up Royce. It's not something that I would love to. I would much rather have Franck Ribéry. Um, but if it's something we can get for Pogba, then let's do it. One thing I do want to say, I really need to fix this defense. We need more center backs. And a lot of people are just like me. In the comments down below, you see more attacking players than you actually see defenders. I really wanted to pick up some center backs, but all the comments were about players going forward. Even when we're stacked in the front, people still want to upgrade the front. You guys are just like me. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a victim of this as well. I never want to buy center backs, and that, my friends, could be my biggest downfall. Either way, I thought about this deal right here. 13 million plus a center mid that probably won't get much playing time. We'll see if they somehow bite on this for Franck Ribéry. I know Franck is 32 years old. I know it's a deal I wouldn't do had I known we're staying with Juventus for two seasons. But you, Dortmund was one of our, our love, one of our most loved career modes, and we still they was still voted for us to leave there. So chances of us staying with Juventus for two seasons is very slim. As I told you, we're gonna be going absolutely balls deep. We're gonna be going ham, yo, trying to make any deal happen. Paul Pugba. 
but for the boy Tiago Silva could be a move we could try. We're also going to try Paul Pugba on the boy Matuidi. We're going to try Paul Pugba on Modric. We're going to try to lose a superstar, but still find a superstar. And, yo, Paul Pugba for Tiago Silva. I don't believe, I, I truly believe Paul Pugba is worth a lot more than Tiago Silva. Instead of getting Paul Pugba here, I'm going to try 13 million. And, of course, my phone would ring. I'm going to give 13 million and a uh, center mid. 13 million and a center mid to see if we can somehow snatch up Matuidi here. I'm not going to give Marquisio. I'm not going to give Paul Pugba. Boy, Modric. Now, Pugba for Modric is definitely something I can see in the works. I know Pugba's way younger. I know Modric is older. But as I said, chances of us staying at Juventus, not really high. So why not try to get Modric? If it really was like, you know, real life or something like that, I would never give a Paul Pugba for Modric. Although Modric Rich is absolutely a stud of a player. Maybe I would think about that. Uh, but, yo, why not go after Iniesta as well? We're going to try Paul Pugba on the boy Iniesta. He is 31 years old, but still we're replacing a superstar with a superstar. Throw Paul Pugba on there. And then there's not a career mode if your boy doesn't try to go for one of the four mega superstars. So you know I'm going to go after Neymar Zito if I can find him. Uh, what is he? He's an attacking player. My boy Neymar Zito. There he is, 23 years young. I'm going to offer 30. 13 million and I'm also going to offer the boy Paul Pugba. Now, do I think this is ever going to work? Never, ever, ever, but it's worth a go. Since we're trying to pull a superstar with Paul Pugba, Agüero sounds like a superstar. So Agüero for Paul Pugba, even though I'm not really in the business for a striker, if I'm going to lose Paul Pugba, let's lose him the right way. I don't really see any midfielders. KDB, not really somebody I'm interested in bringing to the club right now. David Silva is somebody I would love to use in a career mode, but given Paul Pugba, I don't think that's a go, but why not try to give someone like Marquisio plus 10 million? That could be something I could let fly. They don't really value the boy Jesus Navas that high in this game. They value him at 9 million. So I'm going to say, yo, here's 13 and see if they bite on Jesus Navas. I've only used this man once in a career mode, and I'm thinking it's time to use them again. 10 million for stones. I don't know if this is going to be enough to pull them. Maybe I'm actually offering too much. Let's start with 8 million because his wages are only 40. So let's start with 8 million. See if we pull stones right here. The 50 million pound man that just went to Man City. We might as well throw a big boy offer on him. And also Joggy Elka. I don't really know how much they value him at. But I'll throw like 8 mil on him and see if they bite. A center back would be nice. I don't want to lose my, my mind getting a center back. I don't want to offer way too much on somebody our lineup for this game Balotelli Dybala James Rodriguez instead of the boy Marquisio since Paul Pogba is here we're riding with him Renato Sanchez on loan we're gonna ride with him as well actually you know what Kadira's getting the start Kadira gets the start we got Cordrado on one side and Coleman on the other we also oh wait Lavezzi I almost forgot we had Lavezzi there for a second Hold on now. How do you really want to run this team, Skills? Well, let's see. I really want to play Cordrado. I really want to try Lavezzi. So Lavezzi, Cordrado, James Rodriguez, and Pugba. And since we just recently signed them, why not give them a game? Let's go. Ahead. Let's 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 get all of our new signings in there, man. Let's get all the new players in. This boy has to be on the bench. Where are we gonna place him? We gotta place him somewhere. Uh, who are we leaving behind? I guess we'll leave. I don't know. We'll leave a center back behind. There you go. Um. And I like this. I like what I'm looking at. He's on the way down. We don't want center backs on the way down. Uh, so, I think we'll go with this, though. It's all right. I feel this. I feel this is a good move. Lavezzi, Pogba, Sanchez, Cordrado, James, Rodriguez, Balotelli, Dybala. Bench Dybala for Manzukis to try this? Let's try Manzukis. Yo, let's try Manzukis. Dybala to the bench for the Super Cup game. Not say Dybala's a starter. You best believe Dybala is our starter. But I want to give Mandzukic and Balotelli a goal as I haven't played them together as a duo. We want to be smart right here. We want to be smart. We want to win our first game of the season. Start off the right way. Super Cup against Lazio. Lazio's a fantastic team, but man for man, I feel like we have a way better team than Lazio. No shots at my Lazio fans, but as great as Lazio is, I just feel like we have a better team and we should be winning this. All the way over to Cordrado. A lot of speed here. What can Cordrado do? He turns on the Jets. Cordrado still with it. Still Cordrado. Turn on the Jets one more time. Referee, that's got to be a free kick. Nothing given. Incredible there. 
James Rodriguez, this is when you gotta shine, James. This is why I signed you, baby. Oh, I signed you to be able to push the counterattack. Balotelli, excuse me, that's Pugba. Good pass to James. I waited for Manzukic. James couldn't get the last pass in. My boy Balo sends it down to Pugba. And I wait up for Cordrado. And maybe finally, can he finally burn this? He's just unable to get back the bit, get away from that left back. He's unable to burn him. He's unable to shake him. Cordrado gonna send a ball right into the middle to see if he gets his first assist of the season. Ball into the middle. Manzukic out for a corner, ref, please. At least give me a corner. It's out on Mandzukic. Great defense by Chiellini. Imagine if we did sign Thiago Silva. Chiellini and Thiago Silva together. I just, I feel like we wouldn't, well, we would suffer goals because it's legendary, but it would be something unreal. But to give Pogba, I just, I feel like that's a bad, bad move. Good pass from Balotelli to Cordrado. And finally, Cordrado has chance to get forward. I see Mandzukic. I go to the back post, Mandzukic! It's gonna be that type of a season. In career mode, we're always playing down the middle. We're barely crossing the ball in. But this season, I feel like it's going to be that type of a season with Mandzukic, Balotelli. When they're the two strikers, we're going to be playing a lot of crosses in. But then when Dybala plays for us, we're going to be playing on the floor. So we have strikers and we have a team that can play very, very different type of for, like formations and play style and tactics. And I love it. We get a different type of play style depending on the players we have out. What a time for Mandzukic to hit that header into the back of the net. Bad things here though, possession in Laju's favor. Shots and shots on target, exactly the same. So all it took was one, one chance for Cordrado to finally get open, get a little bit of space, put a ball in, and Mandzukic, who was really not even supposed to play today, covering that pass up top. Good pass into the middle and look at Renato Sanchez getting back. Big shot, Buffon has to parry it away. How did Renato Sanchez get bullied off like that, man? We haven't really said his name much. Lavezzi on it. I do see Mandzukic, and I played up to Mandzukic. Balo, it's your turn, Balo. Balo, it's your turn, baby. It's your turn, Balo. Where you at, Balo? Oh, that was Pogba. A big header for Pogba at pretty much the edge of the box. What a, actually, that's the penalty spot, to be fair. Pogba with a good head. So Sanchez out, Lavezzi out. Marquisio, Kadira, Pogba, James Rodriguez, and the front will stay the same. Big ups to Sanchez. Big up to Lavezzi. Both of our signings in the last episode played a good game helped us get that one goal lead let's see if Kadira can hold on to it now I don't know who it is but somebody is down injured which is playing Lazio onside it's Kadira Kadira into the game and injured instantly Kadira please I can't turn into Kadira I couldn't turn into Kadira he's still he's whoa he's walking off the pitch Kadira on the pitch for less than five seconds and he is down and injured and walking off I think we just lost Kadira that is incredible such a quick injury. Mar Marquisio, fresh into the game, Marquisio. I'm going to cut up, find Pugba. C Pugba now playing the can position. Great play, Mandzukic over to Pugba. Pugba still with it. I go back to Mandzukic. Mandzukic looking for a second. He couldn't get it off. Balotelli uses some muscle there. All the way up to Pugba. What a ball, Balo. Pugba with it. Let's it fly. Pugba off the crossbar. I thought we hit it. Boys, I thought we hit it. I thought we hit it. Pulled Renato Sanchez. Is Kadira coming back on? I think he did, right? I think Kadira came back on. No, he's still off the pitch. Yo, is he coming back on or nah? You know what? I'm not even going to chance it. I'm pulling him. I'm pulling Kadira literally on the field for 10 seconds. James Rodriguez moving to the midfield. Alexandro going to the left, to the left mid position. So James Rodriguez going to play three different positions all in one game. Alexandro in, Kadira out. Is it a bad? It's a bad ball. Oh, Chiellini. Right there, Chiellini. Who am I waiting for? Balo. Scoop turn. Balo. Balo. What the hell was that? Balotelli, one of the worst shots I've ever seen in the career mode. Here's Closer, man. You remember when Closer was young and a legend? And he says, still a legend, but remember when he was young and so beastly? Cordrado with space and time here. Cordrado must ac accelerate. He's turning on the Jets faster than everybody on the pitch, it feels like. Cordrado still with it. All the way to the back post, Mandzukic! I am about to raise my first Italian trophy, and it feels good. We took an Italian job. And we about to get that Italian job done unless I, unless I don't defend this. The header. Buffon right there. Thank goodness for Buffon. And that's it, yo. We're raising it. Yes! It's only a Super Cup. It's only the first cup of the season. Honestly, the other manager was the one who got us to this game. So I did really nothing except for step in and win one game. And that is a trophy for Juventus. I am proud of that. I am happy we done it. And we did it in a way where I never really felt Lazio were threat. We were threatened by Lazio. Our defense was great. Chiellini was amazing. Bonucci was great. And Mandzukic 
out of all the players I thought would score loads of goals this season, I didn't think I would be saying Mandzukic much, but Dybala got goals in preseason, and now Mandzukic gets our first official goal of the season, and a beautiful goal as well. It's a great ball. Look, early crossing by my boy Cordrado, and look at him just get up above that, de that defender. Well played, good positioning. 1-0 was enough to see us win the Super Cup in Italy. Let's see what deals with. Super Coppa under my name and it feels nice. My boy Kadira, only a five day injury. We'll take that man, five days, that's not too bad. What was the deal? This was the Rebadi deal where they just said it was unfortunate. I really wanted to sign Rebadi too, but I'm cleaning this all up boys because we have a lot of deals about to come in now. PSG looks like they accept, but that's a deal that we're probably not gonna go for. Let's proceed, Everton for Jagielka. They want 13. I'm gonna say 10. Jagielka would be a nice little signing. I know he's 32 years old. I know, I know, but Jagielka's a chill little center back. Barcelona says no to Neymar as we would have to offer 73 on top of Pogba. Get that out of here. 14 million on top of Iniesta. I'm not gonna give 14, but I'll give you 5 million on top and Iniesta could now join. Well, maybe that could be chill, man. PSG says what? They say no to the Matawiti deal, which that deal was what? 13 million plus a midfield. I understand why they said no to that, to be honest with you. Um, I could offer, I don't really have much more to offer, to be honest with you. And plus, we might be getting Iniesta. PSG said yes to that deal. And then a massive deal here as well. Marquisio plus eight, and that gets accepted. So Coutinho could now be playing for your ventos this is big people love this guy man people absolutely love this man so he possibly could be signing for us psg rejected the di maria deal as he has just arrived there and they also say no to the ribari deal which is a little bit frustrating man because i actually really 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 want to snatch up ribari is somebody i really want should i offer coleman plus 10 and see if they bite on that coleman's young superstar dude you guys already know what he's about that would be sick move right there we're gonna get some money in but that money's not really affecting anything so as you guys know iniesta for pogba could be a massive deal everton come back and they reject man city accept 13 million for jesus navas man city also accept 10 million for david silva so marquisio plus 10 for david silva they reject the Royce deal, also in talks with Royce. You guys can have Royce. I'm not tripping on that. This is crazy, boys. 10 million plus Marquisio for David Silva. Wow. 13 million straight up for Jesus Nava. I'm going to go ahead and offer the money. I'm not saying I'm doing it. I'm just offering the money. David Silva. I love him in real life, man. Absolute stud of a player. Jesus Navas, I'm also going to offer him the deal he wants. He could be a winger that we lose nobody and we just get an extra player in and a super quick player. Jesus Navas could be fun. And I don't even know where to begin. Man City accept the Aguero deal for Paul Pogba. I legitimately do not know where to begin, my dudes. Aguero gets accepted for Paul Pogba. I'm going to offer him the contract. If I was to lose Paul Pogba, I would much rather have Iniesta. Real Madrid says no to Luke Modric as they want nine on top of Paul Pogba. I can offer you the same thing I offered them. Paul Pogba plus five mil. Otherwise, get the hell out of here. I don't care what you're saying. It's one of those things where we could sign Coutinho, pay him at cam, put Iniesta at CM where Paul Pogba was playing beside Renato Sanchez or Kadira. Move James Rodriguez to the left mid position and play Cordrado at the right mid position and then have Lavezzi and have Coleman as backup players. This is actually freaking nuts. If we brought in David Silva, we would be losing Marquisio and we have four mil left. We could bring Iniesta for Pugba. We have James Rodriguez for the cam position and we already have Balotelli, Dybala and Mandzukic for the front with Cordrado playing right wing with Lovetsi coming in. That could work. Or we could bring in Modric for the same deal as Iniesta and still bring in Coutinho. So there is a lot of different deals on the table and I am lost. We have superstars upon superstars. If it was me right now, swear down to you, the deal I would take, Iniesta for Paul Pogba, uh, Marquisio for David Silva. It's what I would do. Why? Because David Silva can play CM, Cam, or the left mid position. We put David Silva at left mid, James Rodriguez plays Cam, 
it makes more sense than Contingo because Contingo comes in and we sign Contingo as we're signing him as a cam. We already signed James Rodriguez as a cam. So James Rodriguez is our cam. I really want to progress. I swear down to you guys, but I don't want to progress because I don't want to waste any more window days. As you can see, you guys have to accept, man. Like, it, tell me what to accept. If I go any further, these deals will fall apart. So I can't proceed because I'm not going to be the one that makes the decision. The decision is on you guys. There's going to be a straw pull down below. Blow it up in the comments down below. The straw poll is not going to determine it, but the comments and the straw poll together will determine it. So blow up the comments. Smash a thumbs up if you're loving this UV career mode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. Thank you for all the love and support. It's been your boy, Double A Nine Skills. I just want to get into some gameplay, baby. I want to play with the team. I can't wait until the first game of the City Eye to kick off. The last U game was exciting and fun, but the transfer window has us stopping so much. I want to get the gameplay in, dudes. Blow it up down below what y'all want me to do. It's been your boy Skills. If you have any other people you want me to sign, let me know down below. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the love. Booyah. Picking up Cristiano Ronaldo was just not enough. Today we're back to make a massive deal happen. I feel in my testicles, I feel in my chesticles that something big is gonna happen. As you can tell, this is not Nepenthes. Nope. Unless Nepenthes turned into a Portuguese guy with a backwards hat, this is not Nepenthes. I told you guys that I would do different YouTubers as much as I could. Yes, Nep is still in my house, but I want you guys to know, like, I'm not gonna just beg him every day for a video. <laughs> so I got my brother in, Jay Tunes. He does FIFA. He's been doing it for a few months now. Go show him some love over there on his channel. His link will be down below. He's a brand new FIFA channel, pretty brand new. Go check him out, show him some love, let him know what kind of series you want him to be doing. Say hi to the, to the Hey, boot. how you guys doing?